In gymnastics, there are skills that are stepping stones in order to get higher up in the, in the levels. On bars, one of those skills happens to be something known as a kip. The kip is just another way to get on the bar, uh, the low bar or the high bar. It does take quite a, a long time to, to learn. Uh, six, seven, eight-year-olds are learning this now, and it is a very difficult skill to achieve. Uh, it takes strength and focus. It takes a long uh, work ethic, uh, drills, conditioning, uh, but all in all, this is a big stepping stone to get you where you want to be when you want to compete higher level gymnastics. Mainly, you want to chop the kip down into different sections so the student can learn each piece of the kip and then put them together slowly and then finally all together at once. Um, some major drills would just be simple leg lifts, a leg lift that would end up rising up to a candlestick, um, getting the muscles to be able to get strong enough to pull your body into the bar. So we do something I call band pull downs where you pull a band into your body. You would do uh, just different pieces of drills that would initiate what the, the rhythm of the kip is, um, the rocking motion, the timing, the um, speed, all of that. Uh, anything that would, uh, would resemble the rhythm of a kip or a movement of the kip is necessary for a student to learn the kip. The student's going to start approximately three feet away from the bar. She's going to get a big jump off the springboard to initiate a big stretch of a, of a glide, uh, which is going to give her a big momentum to do the skill. From there, she's going to lift her toes aggressively to the bar and shoot her toes upward to the ceiling, flick her wrists over the bar, and she will end up on top of the bar. Okay, this is a very important skill. As you can see, she is, there's the glide, leg lift, and press. Okay, very good. That's exactly how it's done.